Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, time to talk a tweaks for those who already jailbreak their devices on iOS 13, 13.5, 13.7, even iOS 14 up to 14.1 and also iOS 14.2, those CD tweaks will be for you. So before I'm gonna be start today's video, let me ask you guys to give the video a big thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever I release a new CD at Weeks video. All right, let's go ahead right now to start talking about today's tweaks. And number one on my list will be the colorful switches. This is going to be for your switches. So let me go ahead right now and navigate to under the settings here to talking about about that tweak. Anyway, so once you navigate to under the settings, you guys can take a look that the tweak comes with more than a style if you want to colorize your switch. So if you want to use the red, the blue, the green, and so on, styles so like the gray, the white, the yellow, and the orange. This is the most of the style that comes with that week. So your favorite one, all the thing that you need to do, just to toggle the one that you like from near and you will be good to go. This is the some of the things that it comes with that week. If you want to take a look, mine here will be different. I choose the blue one here. So you can choose your favorite one once you download the tweak from near. So this is the most stuff that it comes with that week once you use or once you choose the uh, color that you want to go ahead, resupping your device so your device will be take the effect and that way you will be change the color for your switch. Once again, guys, if you guys like to download this one, this one will be called the color for switches. Let's move on right now to talking about the other CD tweak. The other one will be called the PIP size or picture and picture size. So once you download the tweak, the tweak comes with no configuration. Just go ahead, download the tweak. Once you want to use picture and picture in your iPhone, bring the video that you want to play and simply this one will be add that feature into your iPhone also if you want to enlarge or shrink that video the size that you want just like that you can take a look at it you can make it the bigger that you want to and then you can hide it just like that it will be so much bigger than the other CD at week so if you want one of the things which that week will be allow you with, if you want to go into your multitasking, the video still will be here. Also, you can hide that video, you can bring the video, and this is the some of the things that it comes with that week once you install it in your iPhone, just like that. As I told you guys, once you download the tweak, the tweak comes with no configuration. Just go ahead, download the tweak, and install the tweak, reset your device. Once you want to use the picture and picture mode in your iPhone, you can take a look at it the way that I shown you guys. It is pretty big. You can make the screen pretty big. And also, one of the features that comes with that tweak to use the uh, video, you can still watching the video, listening for your audio while you're going into your multitasking or any other application in your iPhone. Once again, guys, this one will be called the picture and picture size. Let's move on right now to talking about the other CD at week, the Snapchat volume status bar. So let me show you guys and most of you guys, if you're familiar, you know already about the Snapchat, the volume if you want to play one of the videos inside the snapchat so you guys can take a look right now here on my status bar i think with the devices comes with no notch on it i think will be better so with a notch i mean you can't see it that much but this is the style of that we can soon install it in your iphone comes with that uh, design of the snapchat as a volume inside your status bar just like that so this is how is the style will be looks like and as i told you guys i think it will be much better if you have one of the older devices comes with no notch on it because it will be show those bars will be appear once you want to use your volume and then you can see all of those on the top of the uh, status bar much better than the new devices. 
So once you download the tweak, the tweak comes with no configuration. Just go ahead, download the tweak, and you will be see those bars. Once you want to use your volume, just like that, you guys can take a look at it. And this is the only thing that comes with that tweak. Once again, if you guys want to use that kind of style in your iPhone, the tweak will be called the Snapchat Volume Status Bar. Moving right now to talking about the other CD tweak, the other one, it's really amazing and useful tweak. It will be allow you to customize different kind of things. This is a UI, one of the UI tweaks that allow you to customize different kind of things in your iPhone. But with this one, uh, the developer, he add more stuff such as like you can customize the settings, you can customize the apps and so on. Let me show you guys if I go ahead right now and navigate to under the settings here of that tweak. So this one will be called the Customize Pro. So once you download the tweak, go ahead first of all, enable the tweak. Like any other UI uh, tweaks allow you to customize your iPhone. For example, it comes with a springboard and system wide, your icons, CC, status bar, lock screen, multitasking, this is a new one, your DAC, your settings, the uh, new one that I told you guys about it. So you can customize the UI inside your settings. You can customize the Safari browser UI. You can customize the phone UI, messages, camera, photo, the apps, and so on. I mean, I see different kind of UI uh, tweaks, but I've never seen uh, one of the tweaks comes with, I can customize the UI settings or Safari browser, your phone, your messages, camera. Let me show you guys, I can't go through all of those things, but let me show you guys what I'm talking here about if I want uh, customize the, for example, multitasking. So you guys can take a look that you can use the iPad grids switcher. This is one of the things. And also, if I want to go back right now and take a look what's going on with the settings. So you can customize the settings tax and then you can set right now here the custom uh, for the text here and also the uh, app ID name, the rounded settings here, disable Wi-Fi, remove the black lines, the icon towel, and some other stuff, different kind of things that it comes with that. We disable the app store, third party, and some of the things like colors here at the bottom. If we go ahead right now and navigate to the phone here, will be a section for if you want to put some colors inside your uh, phone application. So if you enable that section, you will be able to uh, colorize or put any kind of color on your call bond here and hide some other stuff like your info card, your third party applications, voicemail, controls, and the favorites. If I go back right now here, the camera. So if you want to use the camera style for iPad or if you want, let me show you guys, you can use iPhone 11 Pro features, enable the features here, enable the zoom. If you one of the people who are looking to enable the iPhone 11, the 11 Pro features inside your iPhone. Let me show you guys, for example, and this is what I'm talking about it right now here, and some of the things that it comes with iPhone 11, 11 Pro. So you can, and you will be able it to customize that and bring all of those features with that week. And let me just go ahead right now and navigate to the uh, photo here. So you guys can take a look that I can hide some of the things inside my photo application or my studio. Check this out. That's, that is a lot of and different kind of things. My apps here, you guys can take a look that I can hide the app store update if I want to replace that with other things if I want to. If you want to just tap on that section and read what is all of those things you can use it for. So once you're done, if you want to make any kind of change, you need to make sure to tap on Respring so your device will be apply all the changes. And this is how is that tweak will be really nice and amazing to have it in your jailbroken device. By the way, this one you have to purchase for this one, but there is 
a light version you will be able to download the light one for free anyway so if you guys looking to download this one this one will be called the isotomize pro let's move on right now to talking about the widget that i use right now this is a new one let me show you guys the name of this one so for sure if i want to use the widget i need to have the x and html in order to make this one working on my iphone navigate to here and this is the name of that one so let me just go ahead and tap on it this is the uh, name here so going back let me show you guys once again idm widget 35 this is the name of this one if you want to pause the video take a screenshot and also i will be leave for you guys in the description the name or the source if you want to download this one so once you tap on this one let's see if there is anything comes under the settings of that widget the only thing comes which is the skill if you want to change that just make a sure to tap on the done here at the top this is the style how is that will be looks like you guys take a look that the widget comes with different kind of colors which is in my opinion really nice and beautiful stuff to have it in your iphone so once again guys if you guys are looking to download this one this one will be called the idm widget number 35 so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you like the video make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever i release a new cd8 weeks video catch you with the next one peace out